What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We are jumping back into some road to the show here today. We have the Oakland A's coming to town, so we got three games with them. This should be another walk in the park. Watch, I say that we're going to lose two out of three. But here we go, bottom of the first. Scoreless ball game here. Two outs, runner on first. I'm batting cleanup today. Joe Boyle on the mound for the A's. He hits 100 on the four-seamer, 90 on his slider, 95 on his cutter. First pitch from him. Yeah, swing and a miss of a slider away. And it's an 0-1 count to start this at bat. Uh, the Diamondbacks here are still in the lead for the wild card. Yeah, Curveball just above the knees. Got a piece of that and fouled it off for an 0-2 count. So far, I'm swinging at everything here. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss of a slider off the plate away. Swinging at everything is the truth there. Three pitches, three swings, and back to the dugout we go. Strikeout streak alive and well now. Bottom of the third, Diamondbacks are now up one to nothing. Runners on first and second, two away again for me. And I'm standing in against Joe Boyle for the second time today. First pitch of this at bat. Up and in with a cutter. Holy cow, that one was a little close. One and oh, the count for me. Second pitch of the at-bat. Low and inside with the four-seamer. It's a 2-0 and count. It's amazing. I leave the bat on my shoulders, and I can actually earn some balls in my at-bats. Next pitch is a four-seamer just off the outside corner there, and it's a 3-0 and count. How about that? Do we take all the way on 3-0 and unless he hangs a curveball for me? Not a hung curveball, it's a four-seamer sent out to right center field. Come on, baby, get up, get up, get up. It dies at the edge of the warning track out by the swimming pool. And that's going to retire the side there. We're moving on to the fourth inning, leading the A's by a score of one to nothing. We come back top of the fifth. It's a three-nothing ball game now with Arizona in the lead. Runner on second and two away for Clark Elliott. He's 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout so far. And he's only hitting 133 on the season. So, yeah, definitely not a banner year for him. 0-2 is the count for him here with Brandon Fott on the mound. The two-strike pitch from Fott. It's a chopper out in the left. That gets down for a base hit. Relay throw goes to the plate instead of to me as the cutoff man. It goes into foul ground, so no chance of a play at the plate. 3-1 to one is now the score as he manages himself an RBI single on a pitch inside. Intriguing. Bottom of the fifth, we come back. Still a 3-1 ball game. Runner on second. Nobody out. Steven Kolek now on the mound for the A's. He hits 96 on his four-seamer, 92 on the cutter, 93 on his two-seamer, only 85 on his changeup. First pitch is the changeup, and I was out in front of it, geared up for a quicker pitch than that. It's an 0-1 count after sending that one foul down the third base line. Second pitch of the at-bat. Four-seamer in the top of the zone, got a piece of that and fouled it away. 0-2 oh, the count. Come on, big guy. Give me that first pitch all over again. I would love to do some damage with it. He did a changeup on the outer third. And it's a, another strikeout for me. 0 for 3 day at the plate with a pair of Ks. Nothing good coming out of this one so far for me. Bottom of the sixth, we come back. It's a 5-1 to one lead for Arizona. Two outs and runners on first and second with Stephen Kolick on the mound yet again for me. First pitch of this at-bat from him. And that one sent down the third baseline. Diving stop by the third baseman. Throw was offline to the second baseman, trying to get the force there. Relay to first was not in time, so it's an E5 and no base hit for me again. Ugh, what a kick in the teeth. Bottom of the seventh, we come back. It's a 9-1 to ball game. I'm standing in 0 for 4 on the day. Runners on the corners, two away. And David Pearson is now on the mound for the A's. He hits 95 on his four seamer, 94 on the cutter, 86 on the changeup. First pitch from the left-hander is below the knees with that cutter. One and oh, the count. I'm kind of torn between trying to drive a ball and trying to earn the walk to load the bases. <laughs> swinging at that four-seamer there. That was not a slider or anything else worth swinging at. One and one the count after no contact of that swing. Another high heater gets me to swing at, and one and two is the count. That was not a changeup. 
the one-two pitch. That's a four-seamer on the outer third. Sent out to deep right. Come on, baby. Get up, get up, get up. And dies on the warning track again. Trying to go oppo taco here. And that's an 0 for 5 day at the plate for me. Nothing impressive there. The rest of the team has managed 14 hits, but I can't do squat with the bat in my hand so far. Uh, Arizona going to take the win here. 9 to 1 the final score as Fott picks up his 12th win of the season. We're going to move on to game number two, though, and you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Did want to make note, though, we did pass 600 subscribers overnight. So, uh, yeah, it's now at 6.01. Game number two is going to start off. Bottom of the first, no score. Two outs, nobody on as I'm batting third in the order. Corbin Burns on the mound for Oakland, hits 97 on the cutter, 90 on a circle change, 90 on the slider, 97 on the sinker, only 84 on the curveball. First pitch is just below the knees on the outer third, 1 and 0 oh the count after not offering it that one. Second pitch of the at-bat from Burns. It's a good rip on a sinker but a little late on the swing and it is fouled off down the first base side, 1 and 1 the count. Third pitch of the at-bat now from Burns. And I went fishing for a circle change well below the knees on the inside corner. One and two is the count as I somehow got a piece of that to foul it away. The next one-two pitch. Outside by quite a bit with a curveball. Two and two the count now. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at here. You gave me one pitch in the zone so far. There's one in the zone. Cutter fouled away. Two and two is still the count now. Could have been three and two if I'd have kept the bat on my shoulders for the whole at bat so far. But the two two pitch is in the zone. Right past the glove of the second baseman. We're going for two. Why not? Doubles seem to be my thing. And the throw in is offline, so I am in safely. With a double here in the bottom of the first. That'll help the old batting average out a little bit after the horrible performance yesterday. Bottom of the third, we come back. Oakland leading this one now. Two to one the score. Two outs, nobody on. Corbin Burns still on the mound. And the first pitch of this at-bat is a swing and a miss of a cutter just above the zone on the outside corner. Oh, and one the count. Come on, big guy. Give me something I can do some damage with here. I don't know if that was it. Cutter on the outer third sent out to the right field corner. Diving attempt by the right fielder, but it bounces over the wall for yet another double. And after that series in Colorado and now this one, all I can seem to do is hit doubles now. Top of the fourth, still a two to one ball game. Runners on first and second, one out for Andrew Vaughn. He's 0 for two on the day, 0 for six on the series. And poor Brian Wu on the mound is on the losing end of the game so far. He's already thrown 66 pitches. And the 67th one is a 1-2 pitch to Vaughn. Let's see if we can turn the double play to get out of the inning. That's not it. It's a pop-up. Shortstop's going to feel that on the infield dirt. Infield fly rule in effect, so no hopes of advancement from the runners. And that is out number two. Bottom of the fourth, Arizona is now leading 4-3. Runners on first and second, two away. And I'm standing in two for two on the day. Let's see what I can do against Corbin Burns in this at-bat as he is still on the bump for Oakland. And another cutter sent out to right field. Lazy fly ball there. That is not going to do the job. That is several fly outs in right field that I have had here. Not a good time. I'm wondering why I can't put one over the fence as I've had some good pitches to do it with. And I even went with the pitches some of these times and still can't make it happen. Oh, well, what can you do but smile and wave? Bottom of the seventh, we come back. Arizona leading 5-4. to four. Nobody out, nobody on. Belly full of Cracker Jack here as I am currently 2-3 for three on the day with a pair of doubles and a run scored. We get a dynamic challenge because the bases are empty here, and uh, let's try to hit a single or better, not like I need the equipment pack. Evan Justice is on the mound for Oakland now. He hits 96 on his four-seamer, 93 on the two-seamer, only 85 on his slider. First pitch from him, inside by a bit with the four-seamer, 1 and 0 oh the count. Justice is a lefty up there on the mound. Second pitch from him, right back up the box and into center field. Finally a base hit that is not a double. 
That is the first time in five games that I have had a hit that was not a double or a home run for that matter, but I didn't hit any home runs in the first game of this series or in Colorado yesterday. So, yeah. Top of the ninth, we come back. Nathan Church is at the plate for the A's, who are trailing 6-4. to four. Nobody out and nobody on. Ian Hamilton on the mound for the Diamondbacks trying to close this out. Let's see what the 0-2 pitch from him is going to be. Ground ball right to me at third. Throw to first. It'll be an easy play for the first out in the top of the ninth. We're two outs from yet another victory. And bottom of the ninth, it's a 6-6 to -six ball game. What happened in the top half? I'm standing in three for four on the day. David Pearson now on the mound for Oakland. He hits 95 on that four-seamer, 94 on the cutter, 86 on the changeup. First pitch from him. Oh, I went whiffing after a four-seamer inside. Oh, and won the count. I am destroying my plate vision here in these last few games. The 0-1 pitch, also inside but closer to the zone at the knees. One and won the count after not offering it that one. Pitch number three of the at-bat. There's a changeup just below the knees. Got me to swing at it and miss. One and two the count. Pitch number four. Outside by quite a bit with that four-seamer. Two and two the count. Oh, come on, big guy. Give me something good here on the 2-2 two -two pitch. Uh, I don't know if that was good. Four-seamer on the outside corner. Got a piece of it and fouled it away. Still a 2-2 two -two count. Come on, big guy. One good pitch. That may not be it as I ground out to the second baseman. Well hit ball, but just could not find a hole. And that is the first out in the bottom of the ninth. We come back bottom of the 11th. It is a 7-7 ball game. I'm standing in 3-5 for five on the day. And yep, we're getting the intentional walk. I kind of figured that's what was going to happen there. First base for free puts runners on the corners with only one out. And it took till the 12th inning, but the Diamondbacks end up walking it off. So putting me on first in the 11th and must have gotten the double play. So I went three for five on the day now, three for 10 on the series. No home runs yet. And uh, it's been a few games since I've hit one of those. Oh, we're gonna go on to uh, game number three of this series, see if we can complete a second straight sweep. That would be nice. And yep, here we go, a little day game action. Bottom of the first, one out, runner on first, no score. Edward Cabrera on the mound for Oakland. He hits 90 on the circle change, 98 on the four seamer, 97 on the sinker, 90 on the slider, 87 on the slurve. And that slurve is the first pitch he throws me. Got it in on the inside corner, swing and a miss, makes for an 0 and 1 count. The next pitch is a four seamer also in the zone. Late swing there, no contact made. It's an 0-2 hole in a hurry, and I have not done anything yet. Four-seamer inside is taken for a ball, one and two the count. Come on, big guy, give me something good to swing at here. That's not it, circle change low and inside, but I swung at it anyway. We have a one and two count yet again. Next pitch, inside again with the circle change. Didn't go after that one. Two and two is the count after five pitches. Pitch number six of the at-bat. There's a sinker in my cold zone. Got a piece of it and fouled it away to keep the at-bat alive. He's definitely pitching me low for the most part here. I'm trying to avoid the double play. Next 2-2 two -two pitch. Ripped into left field and just barely fouled down the left field line. Could not keep that one fair. So we're going to do an eighth pitch of this at-bat. And we send one out to right field. I don't think this one's going to have enough on it to get out. It does not. Caught on the warning track. And just another fly ball out to right field. That's the name of the game in this series, apparently. Top of the second, we come back. Still scoreless. One out, nobody on for Max Muncy. He's standing in batting 287 on the season. And he's got himself a 2-1 and one count against Ryan Nelson. Wind up and the pitch from Nelson here. Ground ball to me at third, easy play. Scooped up and thrown to first. Four out number two in the top of the second. We're moving on top of the third. Two to one is the score now with Oakland in the lead. Clark Elliott at the plate. And he's 0 for 1 on the day with a K next to his name. Does have a 189 batting average after uh, that RBI single in the previous game. Two outs and nobody on. Two and two the count for him. Let's see what we get from Ryan Nelson. 
Little dribbler to me. Scooped up. Throw to first. Will be in time. Top of the third is now over. We're heading to the bottom half, trailing the A's by a score of 2-1. to one. Top of the fourth, we come back. Still a 2-1 to one ball game. Max Muncy at the dish for the second time today. He's hitting in the number six spot for Oakland. Uh, he's 0 for 1 so far, and uh, he's got an 0-1 count with the bases empty and nobody out. Pitch number 49 of the game from Nelson. It's going to be a ground ball to me at third. Grabbed and thrown. One away now in the visitors' half of the fourth. Bottom half of the inning, I'm at the plate for the second time today. Batting average still sitting at a 315. Edward Cabrera still towing the rubber for the A's. First pitch of this at bat. Just off the outside corner with the sinker. One and oh, the count. Second pitch of the at bat. Chopped up the middle. That's a base hit into center field. We'll take the old single. That'll keep the hit streak alive. So far, no strikeout in this one, but it's only the fourth inning. We move on, bottom of the sixth. Oakland is now leading four to one. Runners on first and second. One out for me as I'm standing in one for two on the day. Edward Cabrera is still on the mound, throwing pitch number 80 of his outing for the Athletics. And we send one into right center field. That's gonna get down for extra bases. That was right at the pool. That's gonna go all the way to the wall. I will stand on second with a two run double. The runner from first scores easily with no play at the plate. It is now a 4-3 ball game in the bottom of the sixth. 4-3 is still the score top of the seventh as Andrew Vaughn is at the plate for the A's now. One out and runner on first for him. 2-2 pitch on the way here from Sean Manzo who's in out of the bullpen for the Diamondbacks. Chopper to me at third. We'll throw to second. Five, four, and three. It's a two-for-one sale for outs, and we head to the seventh-inning stretch after that double play. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. Bottom of the eighth, we come back. Still a 4-3 ball game. I'm standing in two for three on the day, five for 13 on the series. One out, nobody on. Memphis Mascara is now on the mound for the A's. He hits 95 on his four-seamer, 91 on the two-seamer, 83 on the curveball. First pitch. Is a four-seamer on the outer third, pulled a little bit towards center. And it's going to get caught just shy of the warning track for just a long and loud second out here in the bottom of the eighth. Diamondbacks end up losing the win streak as we go down four to three in game number three. We still took two out of three with the, a with the A's coming to town, so uh, I guess we'll take that. A five for 14 series with three doubles and a pair of ribbies. Still nothing too bad there. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the series there for the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.